So, you want to play Doom, you want to play Heretic, you want to play Hexen in 2022, but for the life of you, you can't stand the old school controls and you want to tweak it a little bit, tweak the visuals a bit. Well, GZ Doom is your answer. It's a um, modified game engine for Doom and uh, games like Doom that run on the same engine and it's also a powerful tool for creating your own content or whether you want to run some mods there's plenty of awesome awesome content out there so what you want to do first is download a GZ Doom links in the description once you got that downloaded you want to unzip it Once you've got it unzipped, you want to download a launcher. Now the launcher is called a ZDL. You don't have to use the launcher, but I highly recommend it when you're starting out. Um, if you're a noob like me, you, you need you need this. So download the latest version here, 3.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2.2. Um, unzip that. Next you want to get your Doom WAD file which can be found in the install file of your game. Uh, same goes with Heretic and Hexen. You want to add that to the folder here. You want to set your folders up similar to I have. Next thing, so you open up Z, uh, ZDL and you want to add a WAD file. Call it Doom here. Click on the WAD file, open it, add it in there. Next you want to add a game engine, in this case GZ Doom. Put in the version there, 4.82, browse, find it there, open it there, blah blah blah, yep, chuck it in there, press OK, alright, next step, click on the main tab, you got Doom on the side there, make sure that's activated, you want to add some mods, so I highly recommend playing these games with as minimal mods as possible, um, I like to just add some lights and bright maps which come with the GZ Doom engine anyway. And then once you've done that, save the config as a ZDL file. And you can load it there you can later on. Later on you'll have tons and tons of different configurations because like me, you can't just have it basic. Anyway, jump into the game, go into options, you'll see there's a ton of modern options here. All sorts of different visual you can spend hours on this. Um, you really get, you're really going to go down the rabbit hole. Um, I like to just turn all the basic stuff on. Um, in this case, I actually like to turn um, texture filtering off. Give it that classic look. Turn everything else up. Turn it all up to max. Unless you've got a potato laptop or something. Seriously, don't spend too much time on this. You can do it later. Just um, get it going, get the res set, turn it up. So, yeah, it's basically just OG Doom um, with uh, a little bit of lighting, a little bit of nice nice sort of lighting added in, uh, mouse aiming, uh, modern controls, you'll feel right at home. Uh, don't play it with a controller. Um, this is a PC game. Keyboard and mouse all day. So yeah, it's just Doom as you remember it, um, with the res updated, um, some nicer shadows and lighting. Uh, this is how I recommend you play all these games, Heretic, um, Hexen, Doom, Doom 2. So, here's an example of what you can achieve with a shit ton of mods. Um, this is a little bit stuttery, but um, you get the picture. Um, and on that note, I'll leave you to it. Please like and subscribe, and um, I'll see you next time. Cheers.